Hey guys, uh, what's going on? So I gave the UPS a little bit of time to charge. So now I'm gonna try and install the software and uh, see if I can get some runtime information. Uh, like I mentioned before, I did run into some issues before to where the consumer version wouldn't work with the server operating system. So I was able to download the business version. Let's see if I can install it and get information and see runtime and all that kind of good stuff. All right, so right now we're looking at the desktop uh, for the server itself. I'm remote desktoped into it. So here we can see I downloaded the software. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let's try and install this. I do have this connected through the USB cable. So we'll see if it automatically detects it. Hopefully it will. If it doesn't, uh, I might have to do some research. All right. Yes, let's go ahead and search. All right, well, nothing so far. I don't know if that's a, probably can't be a good sign, right? Just gotta check COM1 and then I'll probably check COM2. On USB, here we go. All right, so it found it, I guess. All right. Put my super secret password in. Your name must be six to 28 characters. What do I want it to be? Hmm. All right, fun stuff. Oh, it's installing. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up. Yep. All right, what I was gonna say is, I believe we've built hardware monitor. Watching. Okay, there it goes. But well, hardware monitor, I believe it should be detected. It should see the UPS. Yeah, here we go. So we can see the UPS down here. We can see the load level and we can see the battery is at 100%. So through this, just using, just because the, the system already detects the UPS, pretty sure there's a way that even if the, UP, uh, the uh, APC software doesn't work, we can still set the system to shut down automatically based upon power levels. I believe that's, uh, we can just do that through uh, through Windows. So that's kind of the fail safe. I'll figure that out exactly how to do it if uh, the APC software doesn't work. Um, I was hoping it would launch automatically. However, it didn't. Let's see here. Looks like we have a web interface. All right, so this is different. So the business version, apparently there's a web interface that you have to connect through. Uh, the consumer version, it's not, it's just a, um, uh, just an application that runs. Here are my super secret credentials. Okay, awesome. So it looks like it, looks like it's gonna work. All right, well, let's do this. Got down settings. At runtime limit, turn 20 seconds. I guess we can leave it like that. Hmm. I want to make that like two minutes or something like that. Okay, so it looks like we could uh, set up a script to run at the time of shutdown. Let's figure this out. I want to make it to where, I don't know, let's make this like. I don't know, 700 seconds or something like that. Well, where do you save? I don't see it save, but I just hit finish and what happens then?
Okay, well, this is different now. We can see the configuration. I wonder if that was what I was just looking at. No, uh, no, this, this is where we can get different types of alerts. We can set it up to send different alerts and run different things, run different uh, commands, scripts based on events. Um, in an enterprise scenario, I'd probably do some of that stuff, maybe on battery, um, or just send these to a, uh, an event log server or something, but I don't think I need to do any of that. I really want to do, let's see some EPS settings over here. Should be automatic, I'm sure it's auto sensing, so it can work on like a 110, 120, or like 220. Leave all this the same. We can set thresholds. I don't want to mess with any of that. UPS status, the runtime rem remaining. So this is just the server on it. So that's actually pretty damn close. The box said 67 minutes for an entry level PC, and that's what that is. And this is saying 68 minutes. So I am very surprised that that is uh, uh, going to last that long what it says i would imagine that's probably pretty close especially the battery being brand new as the battery ages i would imagine that would go down um but that's pretty uh that's pretty incredible i would say battery management runtime remaining oh, that's just 72 minutes now we can see the installation date change that this is july 7. self-test so I'm listening other UPS is whenever it switches over to battery power there is a uh, very audible click when that switch over happens uh, I did not hear that so I guess we'll see if that actually happened or if it didn't see what's going on So we can see the self uh, test is in progress right now, currently. I imagine it only lasts about 20 or 30 seconds, but I guess we'll see. All right, looks like I might have finished. Status went from in progress to unknown. refresh huh interesting uh well, I don't know what to think about that alarm I don't want to see the alarm hmm informational yeah definitely don't need to mess with any of that and I'm not going to set up any type of email settings SNMP uh, I'm not going to set that up. Like I said, if there's an enterprise environment like this software, it's a business edition was meant to be used in. Uh, I'd probably absolutely do that and then go through and select specific events. I wanted to see not everything, probably on battery or self-test failed, stuff like that. Only a few of them I want to see. Don't want to see all this crap. Um, what else? Shut down. Outlet, se outlet sequence. I'm sure the default's fine on that. Um, shut down settings. See this. This we saw earlier. So I still can't set the amount of time. I bet you it, well, maybe it does that automatically. Maybe it, when you shut the system down, it logs the time and then sets that automatically so it knows exactly how long the system takes to shut down. Just my guess there. But um, interesting. This does give a lot of control though. Outlet sequence. Okay, so you can set the uh, minimum amount before it turns the outlets on. So if you want to let it charge like 20% before it turns on, like you can see that here. Oh, there we go. Time for operating system to shut down 90 seconds. That's fair. And that's, uh, looks like that's the maximum amount of time. Perfect for me. Uh, that's fantastic. 
Let's leave that. Uh, look, everything else I can just leave uh, as is. Energy management. Uh, a lot of these you have to enter in, like how much power costs, things like that. Yeah, because the system doesn't know automatically how much uh, your power costs and what your emissions are, things like that. It doesn't know. So you have to enter that in, and then uh, it can give you good information. Oh, cool. So that's uh, good news for me, I guess. Um, the uh, business edition, it was free to download off the APT website. Very easy to install. You all saw the entire process of uh, installing it. And it uh, looks like it worked uh, really well. Cool. So this is one thing, uh, kind of like the six month, uh, you know, dusting and, you know, just regular server maintenance. Um, this is something that I'll probably go in and, and check every once in a while. Maybe check to see if it has any run tests or how the uh, self test went. Uh, kind of weird that uh, we're getting unknown as the uh, last self test status. So I might look into that, see what's going on with that. Uh, maybe run it again or something, but we'll see. I'm going to probably do that. I know the system every once in a while will do that, a self test. Uh, also, it should log every time there's a, a power outage or a brownout, something like that. So I'll be able to go in and see. Uh, what's going on with that but um so far this was really easy painless setup very happy that i was able to use the business edition which i needed because i'm using the server operating system um but yeah good deal well thanks everyone for coming along and seeing what's going on with this software um just so everyone knows after i got the ups uh it was only actually plugged in for probably about an hour maybe two hours and then it was at 100 percent. so it didn't really take a whole lot of time to um to uh charge up I guess last before we call it, let me unplug it and we'll just see, right? It's supposed to withstand uh, power failure. So let's see. All right, so it is unplugged right now. Let's see if we get any type of statuses. Yep, there we go. So device load or device status, it is on battery. Runtime 53 minutes. Awesome. Cool. All right, let me plug it back in. All right, now we're back online. Awesome. So uh, I'm actually very surprised at the amount of runtime that this is able to give. Uh, very surprised. Um, so the only other things I'm going to plug into this UPS is a router. So just your standard router and a very small switch. So uh, a couple other very low power solutions. So ah, fantastic. So, so far, great, um, great experience with the, uh, the product and uh, with the software. There you go. All right, everyone. Well, uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe, uh, like the video. Um, there's more stuff similar to this coming down the coming down the road. Like I said, I'm going to move the server downstairs. Um, and so I'll take you all along for all of that as well. All right, take it easy, guys.